This is the Sales Babble Podcast, episode 412, How to Recognize the Elephant in the Room. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non-sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, Sales Babblers. This is Pat Helmers. And have you ever been ghosted by a prospect? Ever wonder why they've disappeared and they didn't have the good manners to tell you why? Have you ever considered that maybe it's not them, but it's you? That it's your fault because you failed to address their concerns or you didn't give them the impression they could trust you? In this week's episode, we talk about the elephant in the room. Those big issues that salespeople are afraid to bring up in hopes that they'll maybe just go away. But they won't. And now today's chapter, The Elephant in the Room. At first, the scent of objection, the fool avoids it. Deluding themselves, the deal is won. Like rotten wood covered up with new paint, the sail soon crumbles when bearing weight. Better to shine a bright light on issues, addressing them as best able, accepting the truth for what it is. A destination can be reached by more than one path. Seek the truth and let the sail be. And now today's story. During the sales call, the buyer had a hundred questions to ask Chris. One question was particularly vexing for Chris. It concerned a service that Chris's company didn't provide. It was all Chris could do to avoid answering the questions outright. After getting back to the office, Chris was certain the deal was dead and had no idea how the situation could be avoided. Pat said, when you get into this situation, deal with it head on. Always inquire. Is this service important to your business? How come? Look, many times you're going to find a buyer who's just curious. The missing service they're asking about isn't a deal breaker, but sometimes it is. But avoiding the question does no one any good. It's better to know now than to chase them for the next three months trying to get another meeting scheduled. Always deal with the elephant in the room when you're with the buyer. If you don't, it will be near impossible to restart the conversation. This topic reminds me of the quote from the late professor Randy Pausch from Carnegie Mellon, who said, quote, if there's an elephant in the room, introduce him. That's great advice for any seller who thinks that they can avoid an objection by avoiding the conversation. You won't. Sooner is better than later. If you don't, you're going to get ghosted. To get a copy of today's chapter and today's story, you can find it in the show notes at www.salesbabble.com. If you've not yet subscribed to this channel, please do. That way you won't miss it because these come out every Tuesday, like clockwork, 3 a.m. Central Time. (laughs) So you're probably wondering, how did you get to 3 a.m. Central Time, Pat? Well, I figured, you know, depending on the time of year, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning in London when those come out. That gives everybody a full day to listen. (laughs) If you like this episode, please share it with one friend, one person that you know that's looking to grow their sales skills. I would really appreciate it. If you've got a question or a comment about this episode, or if you're looking for some sales consulting don't hesitate to reach out. I would love to help. That's all we've got for today. Until next week, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com.
This is a production of Abenero Media.